Because we understand that the scourge of drug abuse globally is at an alarming rate. And we all know that Nigeria is not an exception. And that's why we need all hands to be on deck in order to exterminate or reduce to the barest minimum the scourge of drug abuse in our country. Uh, the activities of NDLA is twofold. And number one is drug supply reduction. And the second one is drug demand reduction. And the two activities are complementary. Now, we understand that there's nowhere in the world where it is possible to reduce crime rate to 0%. And we've decided, we've resolved, that if that is not achievable, we can do whatever it takes within the provisions of the law to reduce the activities of illicit drug cultivation, trafficking, storage, distribution, and consumption in Nigeria to the barest minimum. And you all agree with me that since the arrival of His Excellency General, Brigadier General Buba Marwa as the Chairman Chief Executive Officer in the NDLA, a lot of achievements have been recorded. And I think in the past six months, we've recorded seizures of narcotic substances worth more than 100 billion naira, including a seizure, a single seizure of 30 billion naira worth of cocaine at the Mutala Mohammed International Airport. The record is still on our own, and we are determined to do what it takes in collaboration with all the relevant stakeholders to ensure that Nigeria becomes a drug-free country to some extent. I'm particularly happy that the Federal Minister of uh, Health is coming up with this project at this time. Uh, it's a complementary project. And I think it's also a project that is repositioning our activities to ensure that drug activities is reduced to the barest minimum in Nigeria. Uh, I understand also that there is no way you build a safer and healthy society without eliminating drug abuse. We are all aware that the activities of illicit drugs has proven to weaken the sociocultural bonds that once promote peace and security in our communities. The health of our communities are so also in danger by the use of psychotropic substances and other substances of abuse. And I believe that until urgent intervention steps are taken, our societies will no longer be safe for us to live in. Our health facilities also, both at the urban and rural areas, may also be overstretched. And once again, I want to thank the organizers of this program for coming up with a project like this. We are committed to be a partner to all the stakeholders. And at this point, particularly the Federal Ministry of Health, to do whatever we can to ensure that we all have healthier and safer communities all across Nigeria. We are looking forward to that partnership. And I encourage all Nigerians to give us the maximum support to ensure that we build a safer and drug-free Nigeria.